Hi, I'm Matt from Ludovox and today I am going to introduce you to Valley of the Kings Last Rites. It is a deck building competitive game for 1 to 4 players. It plays with players 14 and older and it plays in around 45 minutes. Um, this is a game that re-implements the Valley of the Kings game, but it is not an expansion, um, it is standalone. You can play it with or without the old games. And you can you, you have rules to mix them with the old sets. So in Valley of the King's Last Rites, like in the previous games, we are pharaohs who are dying and we want to create the most beautiful tomb to pass on in the afterlife with the most riches. And we win basically by having the most victory points at the end of the game, and victory points are awarded by cards that we acquire and that we entomb. So we need sets, and the more of the same color, the more points we get. We traditionally have five cards in hand and would play them. So I, on my turn, I have to play my cards, maybe buy a card or two and stop there. If I play a card, I can play it for its gold value, which will allow me to buy from the supply, from the pyramid, or I can play it for the text, the card text which allows me, for example, to sacrifice cards in the pyramid or entomb my cards, meddle with my opponents, that kind of thing. So let's say I want to buy this Priestess of Mat here because I can only buy from the bottom row of the pyramid. I spend one, two, three, four, and five gold scarabs. I would take this Priestess of Mat for five and notice that she will bring me two money when I play her for money. I take her. It is the end of my turn, but before the other player plays, I will make the pyramid crumble. So the cards go down, I refill the pyramid, and then I draw five cards from my draw deck. That's the next player's turn, and we play on and on. So how do we score points? We want to put cards in the bottom of our tomb, and we can do that with two ways. The first way is to take a free action during our turn and to take a card from our hand and put it at the bottom of our tomb. It has to be visible, people have to know what cards they have. Usually the tomb is a very safe place. The other way that we have is playing cards for their card text and sometimes they would say entomb a card from your discard pile or your draw pile or your hand or from the pyramid itself. Um, the game will end when three conditions are met. First, we have to have an empty pyramid. But to have an empty pyramid, we have to empty the two piles here. So we have mid-game cards and end-game cards. Uh, the supply has to be empty, the pyramid has to be empty, and the third condition that we have to meet is that every player should have played the same number of turns. After that, we remove decks and discards from the game because they don't count, they are not in our tombs, and we count the points in the tombs. So let's imagine this is my tomb, okay? So and let's imagine that I also have this, well, I also have this, so um, I will have, I will make sets of different cards. So I have a set of three blue cards, and this one, if it were in my tomb, wouldn't count because I already have a brick mason they have to be different, so this one wouldn't count. I have a set of three, so I, have, I multiply three by three. I have nine points with this. Uh, you just do the square multiplication of the cards, of uh, the sets. Uh, the set of two priestesses would give me four points. The priest of Sobek is alone, he would give me one point. And purple cards are very special, like starter cards, they give a flat amount of points. Uh, it is written at the bottom of the card, and this astrologer would give me two points. That's it. You know almost everything there is to know about Valley of the Kings Last Rites. So bye-bye and see you in the box.